going to be hacking, it's not going to be tension, it's going to be sliding across something. So this isn't a pit, it's not a pit, it's a hole. It's the same with all swords. This is the only weapon that works like this. I can just literally not move it at all and walk past something and it'll happen. So you want to try and keep that in mind when you use the sword. Be very conscious of where the edge is at all times. Um, we're going to start, we're going to do a flow in our system that's called second flow. Second flow means we're going to be working from contact. Just out of curiosity, first flow is basically from edge of range to hand tagging. That's our first flow. Our second flow is assuming some kind of contact with the other person's weapon. So we're going to do a drill based on this. Sunny called it sticky blade because we're trying to keep sensitivity and contact with the whole thing. Really, we're not touching edge to edge. Like, we sort of understand this. It's also not flat to flat. It's kind of bevel to bevel. Picture that. Bevel? Yeah. It's bevel. <laughs> right? Not flat, not totally edge on. Just a little bit tipped. You have to start edge on, that's totally fine. But what you really want to make sure is that the business edge is pointed towards your opponent. Not pointed towards you or somewhere else where. Right? We're going to start from this position with a tip down. Tips down is because it's dangerous up here to be waving these things around. Always keep the tip down. As you can see, we're already assuming this position that we started off with with the pendulum, right over the mirror. And all that's going to happen is I'm going to try and keep this contact point fairly constant while we pendulum back to the board. That's all I want, one straight line. Notice my arm comes back towards me and it extends out. It comes back and it extends out. So along with the stepping and the weight shift, I'm now playing right here too. This is also a pendulum that you can back. back out. So all I want is to get this point light, not heavy, very sensitive, don't push too hard. If somebody that knows what they're doing because you push hard, then it's going to come straight up the top. It's going to be very light. Yeah, sword fighters are usually very light. Unlike when we were trained sticks, we like to collide and bang. Sword, you have to respect the blade, right? So you have to be really light because once, like Maya said, once they react, they'll turn the angle and cut cut in, right? So you have to be really light with the, with the touching. Okay, turn, like you said, shoulders, pull the hand close, pull it out. You will notice that I'm occasionally keeping my thumb on the back of the blade. Do not do this if you're stick fighting. One of the reasons that you're allowed to do this sometimes with sword is it gives you manipulation of where the edge is. Especially if you have a hand guard here that protects the thumb, this is okay. Doing this with a stick, please don't do this with a stick, do this. With the sword, now you can, just to gain that edge sensitivity. The edge is going to be opposite of where your thumb is, okay? So you can play with it a little bit. Keep it light in your hand. No grip of death. No pressing. Very, very light. Okay? Switch partners. We're going to do this a couple times with a couple different people. Okay?